next, we're talking about a story about businessmen who get together regularly to play golf and to complain about the problems in their own companies. Now, after trading troubles and possible solutions, they come to certain conclusions known as wisdom on the green. Joining me now is the author of this book, Forrest Breifogel, and welcome to daytime. Now, this is a fictitious account, but why did you right. choose offering business solutions on a golf green? Well, I think there was two reasons we chose the, uh, the golf course as a place to have the setting for our, our, uh, our book. First off, it was uh, to create a place that we could have a dialogue with executives, because that's where executives talk, and they can be honest about it. But secondly, we wanted to make the book fun. So we had it such that we could build analogies between the game of golf and the line of business. Sure. And I'm, I'm going to ask one question. What kind of conversation is going on if we were out there, if we were ball on the course, what would we hear them talk about? Well, one, one example is uh, we often have crises in business. And one of the persons works at a hospital. And he all of a sudden had an emergency where they had uh, a diagnosis that was wrong. And they gave him the wrong medication. So he had a crisis, and then he started realizing we have crises all the time. And he started looking at what they might do differently. Well, let's talk about that, because uh, in your book you talk about a, a system called Six Sigma. Now, the important thing about this is not the name, but that it's supposed to be effective in changing the outcome. So how does a hospital, just quickly, how do they make sure they don't make mistakes? Because in our area we've had to report on this quite a few times. Well, I think we uh, have processes in basically everything we do. And we can look at that as an IPO, an input, process, and output. And the output for a hospital would be, did a patient get treated correctly, you know, and have a, a timely uh, resolution to their problem. But the, the process would be admissions, but it would be also uh, how they went through the overall process of treating. And the important point is we want to identify input variables that make those uh, differences on on the results that we get when we go to the hospital. I, I know a nurse who sent her daughter in to have an eye operation and she drew arrows to the eye to be operated on and put an X through the other one and that would change your uh, outcome. Exactly. And we want to make those type of things the standard procedures within hospitals. If you're working on somebody's knee, right, have them write the word no on the knee that they're not to get operated on. Okay, let's let's see because you've you've talked about spreading this around that it can help a lot of different people. Uh, we're coming up to school, the school year. What happens? You're trying to make things go more smoothly at home for your child, for the family, and make sure they get their homework done and it makes school easier. How do, how do you change that? Well, I think one of the things is we first off want to have some sort of a measurement. And that would be one thing that the kids arrive to school timely. And also their grades would obviously have been an output. And then I think we need to step back and think about what could we do different to improve those outputs, the process. That means we need to have children such that they have dedicated time, for example, when they're going to do their study. Get away from that tube. And so that becomes a regular procedure on how we go in and work with the student and work with our child so that we receive better grades. Okay, and as long as we were talking about golf or any sport at all, whether it's a child or adult, you say even these business solutions or this technique can also help you with your golf game. That's right, exactly right. And I'm sure that's in the book too. Huh? Exactly. We talk about that in Wisdom on the Green and also we, we get into that in our training at Smarter Solutions where we have people work on real projects that are key to the business. For example, people come from all over the world to attend the training and they've saved over a half a million dollars each on these projects. So if, if I'm going to improve my golf game, what's the, I want a better score, what's the first thing I can do? Well, one of the things is you want to step back to the big picture and how you play the game. And a lot of times we'll go in and waste strokes. We'll try for a shot that's only one in ten chance for us to actually achieve. I think that's my drive you just described. <laughs> yes. That's right. And we actually talk about in a book where somebody uses a different iron instead of a driver because they could get better accuracy on it. So we're playing the game like we do business. We do things differently so it gets the better results to our, our score, which is the output of our golf game. Okay, Forrest, thanks very much for being with us. I want to tell the folks at home, you don't have to be a CEO or a golfer to appreciate wisdom on the green, smarter Six Sigma business solutions.